Hey guys, I'm Chris Klein with Carolina Aquatics. We're a wholesaler in North Carolina. Uh, we're here at MACNA 2016 showing off our monsoon ferry rafts. It's the first time this has been displayed anywhere in the country. So this is the monsoon ferry rafts. Uh, there's currently 10 of these trios here in the United States. They came from Darwin, Australia in the Northern Territory. They're a good full day's trip uh, boat travel to where they're collected. Um, they're very, very rare. There's not really much else where they're collected. So this is the main thing that they go for. Uh, they're, they're fairly expensive. We just released, uh, uh, we put a press release out on our Facebook page. All of it was picked up by several companies. You can read about a lot of different things on the fish, where they're collected exactly, um, what they're doing. Um, they talk about the rarity of them, all that fun stuff. We've got some awesome pictures on there and there's a little bit of video as well. So the monsoon fairy wrasse, we actually got in 10 trios, so it's 10 males and 20 females. Uh, they came in as a roughly 60 to 65 hour trip that they endured on the way over here. We acclimated them for around four hours. Um, once we got them acclimated, I went home, took a shower, came back to double check them before I went to bed. Uh, we, we decided to throw some food in there. We tried the coral frenzy, threw it in there and they, they ate right away, which is kind of unusual for a fish that's just traveled that far and they seem to love it. They, they're eating like pigs. This is probably one of the hardiest wrasses that we've ever had. Uh, we didn't know what to expect when they came in because no one's ever had this fish before here, uh, but we were very pleasantly surprised that they are, seem to be very, very hardy. Due to the fact that this fish is collected so far away from land, uh, we predicted it's gonna be pretty rare for a pretty good amount of time. They're only available, uh, they can only get out to the collection facility two to three times a year roughly depending on weather they've got to pretty much have a week of good weather before they can even attempt it so there's certain times of the year it's just not even worth trying it's literally 24 to 26 hours boat ride all the way there they stay and collect for a day or two or three and then they have a whole boat ride to come back so it's it's really really logistically challenging to get there one of the things that everybody's been real impressed with here is the vibrance of this fish and it's really hard to get a photograph of it or tell in a picture, but the, the females have a, some beautiful blue lines that go down their head. It's, it's, it's almost like an Earl's wrasse, um, and the males have such a beautiful blue sheen when they flash. It is absolutely amazing, and it's something that, that you just can't get a picture of, or we haven't been able to yet anyway, so uh, we're, we're super excited to have these fish. They're amazing, and it's just it's one of the coolest things I think that we've done as a company. So, Once again, this is Chris Klein with Carolina Aquatics, Magna 2016. Thanks for stopping by guys, it's good to talk to you and we'll see you soon.